Go away. <laughs> Wait, what? Go away. Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that wasn't my drink. Rob? You okay? Can you make sure you Please leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone? Yes, please. You can't sleep in here. I'm not sleeping. Well, what do you call this? I call it relaxing. Let me help you up. No, seriously, don't leave me. I'll tell you. He's okay. He's in the bathtub. If he pukes, go on down the drain. Glass of water in his hand. If you need to pee, just don't open the shower curtain. Walk past, pee, walk out. Don't look behind the shower curtain. <laughs> behind the shower curtain is a guy that's drunk, but puking in a place that won't make a mess with a glass of water. He's comfy. He's got a place to puke. He's all right. But the question we all want to know is... Say it! Yeah. Shit in his face. <laughs> No, no, because I asked him that. And I said, no, when he was curled up around the toilet, I said, listen, it's one thing that you're curled up around the toilet. I was like, did you shit in this toilet before you puked in it? Because I was like, that's when you're a fucking loser. And he was like, no, I've never shit in this toilet. I was like, I just, I, I can't move without puking. And I said, well, if you never shit in this toilet, then you can puke in it unrelentingly. I was like, and I told him he should go outside, and he said, I don't feel like I can. And I said, well, frankly, me, I'm 28, I puked. I'm known in Pennsylvania as the guy that barfs in bathtubs, as the guy that gets, like, blackout drunk and, like, curls up in the bathtub. And I was like, frankly, lay down in the bathtub, face towards the drain. If you barf, it goes down the drain. Your body remains, like, puke-free. You have a glass of water by you? And she closed the curtain.